<laughs> it just went, it's gone from 77 to 60 degrees. So this is starting to get us, I'm excited, it's getting me excited. All right, we got a decent buck antelope spotted about a thousand yards out. He's in some wheat stubble. That's what they've been in all morning long. And we're just going to try and slip in his grass and try and get within, you know, 300 yards, hopefully closer. And that green sorghum or whatever's out there looks like enough cover that we can close the distance and make this happen. All right, it's going to be our first stalking attempt. Probably, you know, we're gonna learn here by trial and error, but we're going for it. We got a long ways to go. We gotta cover about 600 yards, I'd say, before we can even get in somewhat gun range. So we're just gonna hope for the best and, and see if we can get in there and get a shot. We just slipped around the sorghum patch. I think our best bet is just to kind of cut through here. I can see the does right on the edge of this about 150 yards away. So the wind's in our favor. We're just gonna slip up through here. I got him. <laughs> I haven't picked up a rifle in over six years. Maybe seven. And, you know, I, I you, you gotta appreciate all aspects of hunting. And that was incredible. First antelope I've ever taken, first time I've ever really hunted for them, and uh, drew a, a really hard to get Kansas rifle permit. It took me about nine years to get it. We had a big cold front come through uh, this morning, and it literally went from about 90 degrees yesterday to about 45 degree wind chill this morning, and it's about 60 degrees right now. And I don't know if it really affected the antelope movement or not, but I know it probably made that rattlesnake go a little dormant. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened, but I mean, just to get the opportunity, it was just great. 